Would you have taken this step if you were solo? What are the costs for a van? How do you make money as of right now? How is this lifestyle going to affect your content? You have no shower curtains. How does that work? What's... Planes. What's up? Welcome to the very first Q&A MMA on this channel. So far we did not have too many reasons to actually do this, but now we have at least one, which is that we've reached 3,000 subscribers. So all my thanks goes out to you if you're subscribed. If not, watch another video because this won't be very helpful. I've asked you for your questions on Instagram and here on YouTube and in the very last video, our van tour, because this is kind of the new chapter of our lives. And today we get into the answers. In case you get all the answers that you've actually asked for or even more and you don't know what to comment, I have one question for you, which is why did you actually subscribe? Why are you following? And what do you expect of me? I do not promise to actually follow up on any expectations you pose on me, but it doesn't hurt to know why you're actually here. I'm keen, so let me know down below. And other than that, let's get into it. Mandy, our VFX travel and Cologne friend and maybe future Canada friend is asking, how are you beautiful peeps doing? We're doing beautifully. Thank you, Mandy. Huang is asking, how long did the planning take before you decided to do van life? So doing van life was not really a plan. It was more of a dream for the longest time. And we were kind of thinking back and forth when to do it and how to do it and where to get the money from and all those things. And then like a lot of things happened. A lot of our friends moved and we were kind of forced to take or make a decision. And one of those was, do we actually want to stay in Cologne or go traveling again? And we even thought about like moving to Thailand or something. But then a lucky opportunity came up and we really did not have much time to plan but we had to do almost everything that needed to be done in i think it was two weeks mm, a month max yeah so that's how far as the planning goes not much of a planner here kara is asking do you let us know if you have a way to find spots with like-minded people and how were your first days living in the van and is there something you already see that is restricting you to the first question if we ever find like a trustworthy working process for finding like-minded people we will let you know until then we'll just gotta search for them talk to them and figure things out and to the second question is there anything that is restricting us like the first days and first weeks have been awesome but they have been challenging as well and there is a lot that i feel is restricting me you would need to ask cat how restricted she actually feels but the thing with restrictions is i try to see it from the positive side although i would call myself a pessimist so for instance there's less space you gotta need to take care of everything you need to fill up your fresh water you need to not only bring out the trash but actually empty the toilet and all those that, that is definitely restricting but also i kind of have way more freedom in moving around and roaming around i'm not bound to a place there's no rent i need to pay so i guess what i'm trying to say is with all those restrictions there there also came a lot of freedoms freedoms even though there's a lot of restrictions, they're counterbalancing themselves with a lot of freedom. I hope that makes sense. Saul actually did ask me on a Zoom call, how do you deal without easy access to comforts like bathroom or showers whenever you feel like it? Well, the thing is pretty much we have access to them. It just works a little bit differently and we were, well, I said we didn't plan, but we were planning for this beforehand when we actually planned the build out of the van that the company built for us if that makes any sense so we have access to them we just need to take care of them which kind of goes back to restrictions or actually like efforts margarita is asking so far what's been the coolest thing about van life where are you planning on taking the van the second question will need to wait a little bit but the coolest thing about van life and i thought about this a little bit has definitely been that we're almost always out for sunrise and sunset if we get up early enough we definitely see sunrise but we're almost always there for sunset like today pretty much it's happening right behind the camera and like that is one of the coolest things ever sunsets are not only beautiful but i don't know they give me a feeling of like closure if that makes any sense i just get a good feeling of rest at the end of the day if i'm able to witness them so kind of a beauty and psychological very very positive thing and well being free to roam around wherever we want pretty much that's been the coolest thing so far there is a fly on my lens piss off piss off go away okay we're back laura is actually having a lot of questions so i will try to do kind of a rapid fire here 
Will you be doing DCC live streams from the van? And if yes, how will you make your setup of all live streaming? Uh, DCC are daily creative challenges. Those are those live streams that I every once in a while do for Adobe. And I really don't have an answer to that. So um, the way we are doing it now is we're having a mobile router, which is running on unlimited data. Like the upside of it is we have internet wherever you go. And it also works for like streaming, Netflix, YouTube, whatever you want, like uploading videos. It all works perfectly fine but the connection is quite unstable so for streaming purposes that's not ideal i may have to go with airbnbs or something that wasn't very rapid but it's an answer i guess second question also what's the best way to have high-speed internet in a van especially curious when traveling internationally well i kind of answered that already and the cool thing with the mobile router is that it's running on a sim card so if we go to another country we can also purchase a cheaper sim card and put that in and use then the local internet that's been working pretty good so far. What apps do you use to find good spots or do you always go on camping sites? No, we do not go on camping sites if possible and we are using park for night in Europe. Income streams. I'm planning to quit my job soon and currently brainstorming for real ways to make money while traveling. I don't have an answer to that. Still trying to figure that out. The only thing I can tell you is do not try to find clients on travels. That definitely doesn't work, but rather take your clients with you on travels. Not physically, but you get it. Would you have taken the step if you were solo? Question to both. Curious to hear both the male and female perspective. Well, I gotta ask Kat for that. Kat? Come on over. Come on over. Pay in. Don't flag any copyright issues, please. There's a question for both of us. Would you have taken the step if you were solo? If if there was no me? No um, beautiful, loving, caring boyfriend? <laughs> I think I might have. I'm not scared to do it alone in a van, but I really like to have company. So if I would stay in a van all by myself, I could still go to places and meet people. But I would maybe then rather travel with backpack actually okay thank you you are free to leave now but you can also stay Please. okay uh for me the answer is i guess it's like it's difficult to answer because kat and i have been together for quite a long time so it's almost harder for me to imagine not being with her and making decisions on my own that sounds a bit weird but like yeah the default is pretty much for me being together with cat and making decisions that kind of always involve the both of us but if i'm real honest i'm not so sure i would have done this all on my own because i don't know where i would be with my life maybe i would have ended up in a similar route but before meeting cat i was actually leading a quite different life and there were a lot of limiting beliefs actually keeping me from pursuing the things that I today live for. Not sure if that's a satisfying answer, but it's the only one I got. What are the biggest challenges you have been facing so far since you've made the move? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I've stopped counting. There have just been challenges coming up all along and we need to figure them all out. And I, I tend to not think in um, what's a big, what's a small challenge. They're all challenges, problems, issues, whatever you would like to call them, and they need to be either fixed or be taken care of. Oh no, I actually have the biggest issue. I'm sorry. The biggest issue is not to move too much around. That's the thing. Like, we've been struggling a little bit to not always be on the move, but actually stay in places and enjoy the van life and really make it a lifestyle, not a moving travel style if you, you understand what I'm saying. Valentin is asking, what are you going to do in the winter? Hopefully stay in warmer countries. I do not think that we'll spend the winter in Germany and I kind of do not hope. I think I want to be here for Christmas, but other than that, hopefully in warmer regions. And even if it's not that warm, we have a heating system in there. So I guess we should be good, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Stefan is asking tips for the first time living in a van for a couple of weeks. My free tips would be plan for me time, plan for workout time if that's important for you and uh, plan for off time. So like I already mentioned, it's very easy to get in a flow of always moving around. That actually gets exhausting after a couple of weeks. If it's just for two weeks or so, I think you can absolutely do it. But if you plan to actually travel longer than that, I would try to maybe keep a rhythm of um, traveling for three days and then staying for two or three days in one spot and just enjoying life a little bit. Oh, and you get a fourth tip, like plan for cooking because food is important and 
food is great and if you live in a van don't go in restaurants because that's not how it's done I guess or do whatever you want I, I don't really know James is asking what kind of traveling plans do you have or do you plan to mostly stay around Germany follow up if you find yourself in Albania let's meet up so James is running his channel all around Albania which actually is the very reason that I really really want to go to Albania now so we're definitely gonna make that happen and that kind of also provides the answer I guess we will not only stay in Germany I actually plan on being pretty much I don't know wherever life takes us I guess and Remy is asking do you have a definite itinerary or will you just go with the flow Go with the flow, no itinerary. We haven't been doing this for, I don't want to lie, but I think like 10 years or so. Maybe it's just seven, but yeah, no itinerary. Uh -uh. Philip's asking, what's your upcoming van plans for this year? We are planning to go to France for a workation cat is doing. Then we plan to go to Spain to a co-living for one month. And we maybe want to go back to the co-living we've been in the beginning of this year. That would be pretty rad. Other than that, we didn't make too many plans. But I have things in mind. I just don't know if they will work out. But maybe I'll just make them work. Florian aka Magic Tree is asking, what are the costs for a van? That really depends. Buying a used car, again, depending on how much and for how long it actually has been used, but you get cars from between 10 to 20,000 euro, and then you have to plan for the build out, which then again depends on what you actually want to have all in there. Do you want to have electricity? Do you want to have a water supply in there? Is it actually water supply? I don't know. Do you want to have a heating system in there and do you want to do it all yourself or do you actually want a company to do this? Do you get the materials? Do they get the materials? I guess there's really no limit going up, but I I would minimum plan with um, 20, 25,000 euros if you're doing everything all on your own and getting a used car and my glasses are kind of sliding off my nose. Next question. That's not looking too good. Lenka's asking, you have no shower curtains. How does that work? So the way we are doing it, or we have been doing it, we have an outdoor carpet, outdoor picnic blanket thingy that's water repellent. And we've just hooked that to the back doors of our van. And that way we are blocking most of the side, but the windows of our van, you can actually see through them. They're not blacked out or anything. So you could kind of see us taking a shower, but not the most crucial part. That was kind of all right. And the way we're doing it now is we got something new. These are the thermomats that are in the back of our van. They have little magnets that clip to the window and then we're also having small magnetic hooks that we use to actually clip the blanket on or, or strap the blanket on um, a little bit tighter to the doors that we're blocking out almost all sides. There are some slits you can actually see through but the experience I've made so far is people are not too eager to watch you shower. Or maybe it's just me because I'm an incredibly ugly person. I don't know about that. But yeah, I mean, you can think about yourself. If you see someone showering or, or I don't know topless people or bottomless people do you actually look all the time you rather feel like you should maybe not stare too much <sighs> so far it's been working pretty fine for us so <laughs> we're good taking showers in public well not even in public it's just outdoors but we're good <laughs> Wild Wild Wonder is asking, how do you access all the resources? I mean, how do you purchase them even if you don't have any job? We are actually having jobs, so that's not too much of an issue. But like the thing with getting water is in many or if not if most countries, you should be good getting water for free. And even if you cannot, it's just like a few euros, like it's not even five or ten bucks or anything. That's not much of a problem. And yeah, other than that, do we need any other resources? We have solar panels uh, on the on the top of our van so electricity is kind of for free i guess yeah so most of what we have we either kind of make ourselves or we pay very little to non-money for and he's asking how do you make money as of right now as it is right now cat is working part-time she's also freelancing and she's having her own company so she's doing a lot i am as well freelancing but i'm not like actively 
freelancing and looking for clients. But what I'm doing is investing most of my time actually in this and growing this and building this, but also in a way that makes me happy, which kind of proves itself to be difficult, but also very fulfilling. And I'm rambling. What I'm trying to say is most of the time I'm concentrating on this. And if a chance pops up to make money, which actually supports me in doing this, I will do it. And all other jobs I try to kind of leave aside except for ones that I'm deeply, deeply passionate about. And yeah, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. But it might actually... <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, okay. <sighs> I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> Okay, give, give, me, just give me a second. Uh, yeah, that's just the way it is, but it might change at any time. I'm not too married to any ideas and doing anything in my life forever and ever, but I'm just trying to go with whatever feels right and makes me happy. Not in a, I want to be happy all the time since, but like what actually sincerely, genuinely feels like a good life to me. One is asking, but why though? Uh, well, just because. He's also asking, in all seriousness, how is this lifestyle going to affect your content from now on? Excellent question. So the thing is, it obviously looks like, like I will be now doing van life content, which I do not really plan for since for those of you who've been following me for a longer time, I've also been doing or trying to do travel content, but I've been trying to do it differently. And it just turns out, it's not really what I want to do. It's not really what I'm so extremely passionate about. But I'm just trying to find a way to actually, on the one hand, well express myself, but on the other hand, bring people along on a journey and rather than making videos, bring people along on an experience. So how is this going to affect my content? I don't really know. I guess there will be more travel and there will be some van life content. I will bring it into the mix but it will definitely not dominate things i rather want to go into a direction that kind of gives a more holistic picture of me myself and my thoughts but that also provides value for you watching which brings me back to the very beginning of this video where i asked you why did you actually subscribe and what do you expect of me I i'm sincerely serious when i say that i'm very keen to know so if there's anything you want to tell me, even if you need like five minutes to maybe brainstorm what that might even be, I would be just extremely thankful if you would post that in the comments. That being said, many of the people who actually ask questions are either friends or people from the internet that I at least do know a little bit, which is something that I'm saying very proudly. These are not just random faces, people and usernames out there, but real people and I'm really happy and I, I feel genuinely lucky to be able to meet with those people over the randomness of the internet so um, they're also all mostly fellow creators and artists I'll link them all down below go check them out maybe leave a like or two or follow them do all the good things uh, yeah not sure if there's anything else to say I think I'm done. I think I'm done here. And with that being said, we're going back to more regular content. Whatever that means on <laughs> this channel. Yeah. Seriously, though. Thanks for being here. 3,000. It's pretty cool. Let's keep going. I see you.